Oh, hi fans, I didn't hear you click. Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report. Alright, got a lot of news here. I'm going to try and get through it. If I don't get through it, I'll have it on tomorrow. How's that? The main event for this Thursday's episode of Impact, which has not yet been advertised by TNA, will feature an eight-man tag match pitting uh, Kurt Angle, Mr. Anderson, Jeff Hardy, D'Angelo De Niro against Matt Morgan, AJ Styles, Kazarian, Doug Williams. And the episode's being taped uh, tonight in uh, Florida. Beer Money Incorporated will face uh, ECW alumni, the FBI, Little Guido, Nunzio, uh, Tony Luke, Tony Marmaluke, and uh, that's the, the impact taping tonight, too. All right, uh, Samoa Joe, he's set to return from his suspension at tonight's impact taping, too. His scheduled opponent's going to be Orlando Jordan, which is going to be a strength setup. Uh, anyway, who uh, scored an upset victory over him in uh, February 18th edition of Impact. The man known as Samoan Submission Machine has not yet been used by the organization since uh, scolding the company personal, uh, personnel uh, inside a production truck for his match with Jeff Hardy. And you, you know that story. Uh, the duo known as uh, Team 3D with Brother Ray, Brother Devon, they may have already made their final appearance on TNA Wrestling as their contracts, uh, contracts are set to expire this week. We'll see what happens there. I'm not sure uh, whether they get renewed or not. Although the team has not uh, written into the this week's show, Brother Ray is backstage today at the taping uh, working as a producer. Meanwhile, it's unclear whether uh, Devon, on the other hand, uh, there for the event or not. It said both sides uh, are negotiating, but the deal is not close to being reached. Team 3D's last appearance with the organization took place Thursday's episode of Reaction as they were uh, featured in the segment concerning the uh, beating of fortune laid uh, on uh, EV2.0, uh, the previous week's impact. Anyway, TNA is going to be releasing Hardcore Justice on DVD November 2nd. The DVD is going to be featured post-show Q&A questions with Mick Foley, Tommy Dreamer, as well as a lot of other extras. Paul Bearer, believe it or not, haven't heard that name in a while, and Mankind, Mick Foley, reunited backstage at the TNA House Show in Mobile, Alabama, August 12th, and uh, apparently it's the first time that they'd seen each other in over a decade. Tommy Dreamer worked the indie show this past weekend that was with the, what was described as flu-like symptoms. I'd hate to hit him in the stomach. So anyway, word is that Dreamer isn't in Orlando at the taping tonight because of the illness. WWE's upcoming John Cena Experience DVD is set to be released uh, on DVD and Blu-ray November 9th. Please make a note of that. This will uh, be WWE's first DVD besides a major pay-per-view that's getting released on DVD and Blu-ray at the same time. Blu-ray released usually exclusive to the, most likely it's going to be exclusive to the Best Buy store. Uh, today, tonight's Raw was taped uh, last Tuesday, by the way. The following matches, here's what was taped. Edge taking on our truth Chris Jericho taking on the great Kali, Melina taking on Jillian Hall, John Cena taking on the Miz, the Uzos taking on Santino Morella, Vladimir Kozlov, Randy Orton taking on uh, John Morrison and Ted DiBiase. WWE Sheamus will be in action also, and Cena versus Orton versus Sheamus in a steel cage match is being advertised for next Monday's 900th Raw from Boston. WWE Dean Malenko and uh, John Laronitis oversaw the uh, uh, this last weekend's uh, tour, I guess, in Japan, scouting out talent. WWE's holding talents uh, uh, was being held by uh, WWE and Funaki helping out. Chris Jericho did an angle at uh, WWE show in. Uh, did I say Chris? Uh, did I say Chris Jericho? No, oh, maybe I did. Chris Jericho did an angle. I was thinking I'd say Chris Angle. Anyway, in Japan on uh, Friday, where he got into it uh, with a pro wrestler, Noah, uh, that's pro, pro wrestling organization over here, uh, Yoshihiro Takanyama, uh, who was sitting at uh, ringside. Jericho did something similar to the Great Mudas, uh, what he did years ago. Uh, TNA star Kevin Nash has confirmed that his friend Scott Hall is back in the substance abuse rehabilitation uh, facility. And here's what Nash wrote on his Twitter account. 
And you don't hear this very often, so listen and take note. Scott is under care at WWE's wellness program. God bless Ann and Vince for taking care of my friend. Ooh, hope lightning don't strike. WWE has an ongoing policy where it pays for drug treatment programs for any current past uh, superstar that had uh, asked for help. After Scott Hall was unable to appear at several independent shows uh, where he was booked at and various independent promoters uh, issued statements about Hall's condition with uh, some saying he was in rehab, others saying he was hospitalized again. The final attendance uh, for Sunday's SummerSlam pay-per-view at Staples Centers in Los Angeles was a sellout at $17,463 for a gate money of how much? $875,000. Of course, there's overhead in that, by the way. Anyway, WWE Cody Rhodes will uh, be appearing at Warehouse 13 this coming Tuesday night. Warehouse 13 airs on Sci-Fi Channel at 9 o'clock. The duo known as, uh, uh, oh, I was telling you about uh, Team 3D. Uh, anyway, where am, I at? where am I at here? I'm getting close to uh, the bottom here. TNA will be taping this Thursday's Impact from Orlando. And like I said, the only match so far that's... Uh, that's actually been announced other than what I told you about. Motor City Machine Guns taking on Generation Me. Great, great uh, matches. The entire WWE talent roster is going to be on hand for the next Monday's Raw 900th episode celebration in Boston. So it should be noted that the episode is scheduled for only two hours. Uh, Jimmy and Jay Uzo uh, celebrated their birthdays Sunday as twin sons of uh, alumni Rikishi turns 25 years old. Isn't that odd they got the same birthday? Hmm. Eve Torres celebrated her 26th birthday uh, on Saturday. Isn't that odd? Alright, John Cena, he's uh, set to appear in some episodes of Hannah Montana Forever, appearing Sunday, September 12th, I guess, uh, 8 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, on the Disney Channel, uh, WWE Superstar uh, has himself, uh, playing himself to provide Miley's brother, Jackson with some real life motivation. Oh, so far I haven't been resigned. WWE issued the following response to Nowinski's uh, claim and criticizes him. WWE's read the credibility, raised the credibility issue for Chris Nowinski. Alright, I'm going to try and get through some of this. He goes around and says how horrible, which is true, the concussions are and how just a little bit of something and anyway. Here's what Chris, uh, here's their uh, his credibility uh, issues from WWE. Chris Nowinski did not reveal as required that he suffered previously uh, previous concussions before signing his contract with WWE. He states that WWE suggested that its performers take steroids, however, and no time did he ever state that it was suggested that he do so. Uh, his comments that WWE talent performs uh, performers uh, in matches of 200 days uh, a year is not factual. In, 19, uh, ni in, ni in 2007, the average roster talent performed 135 days, a sheer fabrication that he went through tables four days a week. Mr. Lewinsky uh, uh, states they have an environment where it's absolutely unsafe to work in the ring, and uh, it goes on and on. And he talks about landscape. But uh, I'll get back with you. Thanks for clicking. I gotta go. Anyway, if I can get this on further, uh, said Lewinsky. Uh, Lewinsky states they have an environment where it's absolutely unsafe working in that ring. They have no oversight to actually what happens in the ring, and if so, then why would Mr. Lewinsky have ever wanted to be a part of such an environment? It's it's a very dubious that he. Uh, ever had a conversation with Lance Cade, much less Lance Cade confiding to a total stranger that he uses painkillers and steroids. You don't think that's ever happened. Also, uh, re, uh, renowned in the field of CTE, whatever that is, we are unaware of any specification or quali qualifications or medical degrees that he would possess which would qualify him as an expert on steroids or painkillers. Talking about Chris Lewis. So they got down on them and they're getting down on him. I better get out of here. I'm going to run over. I got to go.